words appear. Whose blind life is it anyway? Present. In association with Sterling Creation. Dining with Donna. Sponsored by VIP Tech. Greetings everybody. I'm Donna Jill Jodhan and I'm the host of Dining with Donna. I hope that everyone is enjoying the month of November as we steam towards the holiday season. Or maybe some people have already started to celebrate the holiday season. I know I have. I'm like a kid in a candy shop when it comes to the holiday season. I start celebrating maybe shortly after the Canadian Thanksgiving. A bit too early, you say? Maybe, but... I can't help myself. I love to bake, I love to cook, I love to give gifts, I love to share with people, I love to visit, I love to do all the things that the holiday season is known for. And I know that you out there, my most fervent listeners, my most, you know, listeners who are listening to me, I want to thank you most kindly and generously for giving of your suggestions, your comments, your feedbacks, everything that, that, that you've done, you know. I'm really, really, really grateful to you. All right. And I am grateful to my dear friend, Victor. Thank you, Victor, for giving me this opportunity to be with, you know, on this show. And I've been doing this in September and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. All right, so what has everybody been up to for the month of November thus far? Hmm, well, let's find out. Let's see what you think of this week's recipe. It may be a bit short, but for the month of November, I chose to share recipes on beverages with you. And for the first week, I think I gave you a banana breakfast drink. And um, for the second week, I gave you something else. I can't remember right now. Isn't that awful? Jeez. Let me see. Oh, week, for week two, I gave you Cafe Olay. Boy, my memory is getting a bit uh, distracted these days, eh? What can I tell you? So, you know... I am no chef, I'll tell you that. I am no culinary artist, I'll also tell you that. What I will tell you is that I love to create in my kitchen. I love to, you know, muck about in my kitchen with my friends, my family on my own. And the weekends are my favorite times to do what I like to do. I like to create, I like to add to recipes, to, you know, explore. Sub subtract from recipes as well to make a new recipe and then if the recipe turns out good in my opinion or in the opinion of my friends and family I'll share it with you if it doesn't turn out so good which it has many many times I will not share it with you I love to create and it's not just in the kitchen I also do it on my electronic keyboard I love to knit uh, learning to knit. Right now I'm knitting a baby afghan and it's um, the colors of pumpkin and mango. My knitting is not as progressive as my pottery. I love to uh, do pottery and I have or in the process of making a tray with some special little spoons for my dear mom. It's a square tray, white tray and the handles are gold. And I'm also making some little um, men in different colors and placing them on uh, something I have made. It's a, a lake with um, trees around it, orange, red, yellow, and green bushes. The ice is really nice blue and there's snow around the trees. So I'm putting my little men on the, that lake. And finally, I am creating some ornaments, Christmas ornaments. So this is what I'm up to. But let's get back to the cooking at hand, okay? 
this is what we're here for today and today it's all about Santa's pleasure punch okay so here's what you need in order to get going your implements or your tools you need measuring cups which I keep saying every week it is a must to have measuring cups in your kitchen at all times you may not always use it but you can you know that once it is at hand you can call on your measuring cups anytime and usually find these cups in a set of one cup three quarter cup half cup quarter cup i think one third cup um, you can find it in stainless steel you can find it in silicone and you can find it in plastic i recently bought a set of uh, stainless steel cups from walmart really cute little things and I'm going to experiment with it sometime in the next few weeks when I use it to make some pancakes right so measuring cups a can opener and again your can opener can be a manual one you know with the wheel in between the two levers and you place it at the edge of your tin and then you start cranking away or, or using the little lever at the side of the can opener to start moving it around there are two handles to this and it's it's small it's gosh it's about three to four inches long I, I'm, I'm sure many of you have one of those or you can have um one of those battery operated ones the one touch ones which is not bad as long as it works just make sure you place it on your tin in the appropriate position it's a little tricky but once you get the hang of it it's okay all right all right you need a large pitcher six tall glasses and of course another of my favorites in the kitchen paper towels and you need paper towels all the time to clean up the spills and the messes to wipe your hands to wipe down counters you know paper towels are a must right so for the ingredients one cup of lemon flavored iced tea mix that's one cup of lemon flavored iced tea mix um two 12 ounce cans of apricot nectar there's two 12 ounce cans of apricot flavored nectar okay all right two cups of pineapple juice two cups of pineapple juice two seven ounce bottles of ginger ale and you need to have it chilled okay Two seven ounce bottles of ginger ale and make and put it to chill okay now to get going on the recipe itself are you ready in a large pitcher you combine all of your ingredients okay everything that I have outlined for you that is the uh, the iced tea mix, the apricot nectar, the pineapple juice, and the ginger ale. Okay, so you combine all that in your pitcher, but leave the ginger ale out of the pitcher, okay? Combine all of your ingredients in this pitcher, but leave the ginger ale out of it, okay? Just before you serve it, add your ginger ale. Serve this in tall ice-filled glasses. The six glasses that I mentioned at the start that you would need. This makes six servings. I've tried this out and I really, really love it. Mm -mm -mm. It makes a nice cool drink and it sure reminds me that Santa is just around the corner. All right. Folks, if you want a copy of this recipe, a text version is available in the text box on this podcast. Or write to me 
and put in the subject line Santa, Santa's Pleasure Punch and I'll be pleased to send it to you. Write to me at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. That is askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. A S K D O N N A O N B L I N D L I F E at gmail.com. Good. I have a little something for you before I leave you for this week. And it all has to do with. I have a little something. It's about substitutions when you run out of something and you want to add, uh, you know, you want to substitute something. And these are tips that I have also available. I'm just going to give you one of my two tips for this week. Okay. All right. If you don't have any bread crumbs, here's what you do. Use any type of corn flakes or wheat flakes or any other type of cereal, okay? And you have to crush it finely. And you can also use crushed potato flakes and so make sure they're all crushed finely, okay? So you have two th things that you can use if you run out of bread crumbs. Crush potato flakes, crush it finely, or crush any type of cereal flakes. No, whether it's corn flakes, wheat flakes, or any other type. Crush it finely, and they would be a good substitute for breadcrumbs. Okay, folks, that's it for me for this week. That's it for me for today. I wish everybody a happy day, a happy week. I thank you again for tuning in to listen to me. And we will be back next week. Thank you, Victor. I hope you are listening in. And we will talk to you again next week. Do stay safe and bye now. For, bye for now. <laughs> Thank you. You can catch Dining with Donna Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway?